So today on the track we got a Nissan Skyline R31 GTSR. This car is definitely an interesting car to drive. It definitely has characters. It's definitely not boring at all. Um, but let's talk about the power first. I maxed out on auto modification and managed to make around 411 brake horsepower, which is fine once it get going. The keyword is once it get going because if you out of boost and you in the wrong gear, it does take a while to um, to build that boost back up again. So make sure you're in the right gear in the first place and you should be okay. The interesting part about this car and the challenging part about this car is the handling. Um, it definitely is different compared to the other Skyline in this game. It's not as easy to drive compared to those modern Skyline. You can definitely feel the body roll in this and it's definitely a little bit handful coming out of the corner as well. But at the end of the day, it's fine. I still enjoy the fact that it's not easy to drive because I do like getting used to each car. I do like to be able to um, learn each car the way it is. I don't want every kind of game to feel the same. I don't want it to be like that. So um, I appreciate the fact that this car is different compared to the other Skyline. That probably make me appreciate it and enjoy it a bit more than I thought I would have. Um, I'm just happy to be able to finish the lab without crashing it. Um, anyway, would I recommend it? Definitely. Um, because this car definitely will keep you on your toe. It will test your skill for sure. Um, so for that reason alone, just definitely give it a go. And as usual guys, build it, drive it and enjoy it. And once again guys, thank you so much for watching the video, hope you guys enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe, it really does help out the channel a lot and I really do appreciate that as well. Thank you again for watching, see you next time, see you later.